Hi! Today I wanted to show you um, how to make booklets out of credit cards or plastic cards. And you can use anything really, just um, something that it's a bit more harder. So I have some playing cards. Um, they are really plastic and you have that double image on front. These are just playing cards from the shop whenever you paid something above 5 euros you would get one of these. So I didn't know what to do with them. I just wanted to use them for my booklets. And uh, they're really sturdy, even sturdier than credit cards, so I really like that. And here I have two credit cards that are really grungy and messy and the sides of when I was scraping the paint and all that. The edge isn't smooth anymore on the sides. I'm collecting them to do something with them. I don't want to throw them away and I'm going to make some booklets out of these two. I didn't finish all of my booklets uh, and I'm going to show you what I did. Um, so none of the booklets have papers inside. So they're just, this is the stack that I made with um, these smaller playing cards, plastic cards. And uh, I didn't finish the inside yet, but I'm going to put the inside paper as well. So don't worry, it's not going to look like this, even though it looks kind of cute. Um, so I'm just going to go flip through what I made. And some I made with a packaging paper that I put just a little bit of gesso, um, acrylic paint or wall paint if you have any paint. So let me just go through... Some watercolor, some printables, and they're they're thin. They're not thick, and I really like that. Like two cards together, um, and these are made with something else with stickers. I'm going to show you that as well. If you don't have cards, oh, this one is glued down. Okay, it's fine. So this is a big, huge stack. And I think I'm going to use, I have a few left, I'm going to use them for smearing the paint and all that. Because I really like that the, these are really thicker. You can use acetate or packaging, you know that thick um, packaging you get? I don't know, you buy something and um, it's all in acetate packaging, like thicker packaging. I don't even know how to say. Um, another thing that I was thinking, I have this mat from my kitchen um, that you can actually... Um, cut on so I'm going to utilize those to just chop down and make um, some cards out of the plastic and I'm gonna use them as my base for my booklets these two are basically made from wedding invitation thingy uh, when you put it when you fold it and you put the name of somebody on the table so it already has a fold and I just use them to make booklets and I think I'm going to continue to actually use up this stack because I think this is the last stack I have. So that's that and it's a different size which I really like. And initially I didn't want to put any papers inside just um, to cover the inside and that's it. But you can if you wanted to put some papers in you can put it in. Um, and these are some smaller ones from stickers. I really love this one. This is from the envelope. And uh, some just random ones. Even book pages I try to utilize. Uh, these are playing cards. Um, so if you don't have cards like these, they are actually playing cards, or cards like these that I have a lot. These are just some of the cards that are missing a card or two. So I collected them. And I bought new ones if I ever want to play with somebody. So, like I said, I used some of the stickers as my base. And these are the stickers that I put two together. Um, so, let me show you. I have these stickers from the store, again. Um, whenever you would buy something above $10, you would get a pack or two. So... On its, on its own, they're really flimsy, and what I wanted to do is make it more sturdy, so I was thinking what to do. This is more shiny surface on the front, and on the back is really matte surface, so I'm gluing two matte surfaces together. So you can use any sticker that you have, that you have, like, you know, you've been collecting, 
or you know you get it in the store or something because I know they have some kind of promotions in America and around the globe as well so I'm going to just show you what I mean by sticking two together kitchen mat and I'm going to just uh, glue one to another and this is really cheap glue stick it's not that great but it it's it's doing its job just trying to align them like this and just flatten it down and if you're not really perfect it, it doesn't really matter and this is way more thicker than this so I'm gonna make a pile and I'm gonna make a bunch of booklets obviously so um, that's kinda it if you don't have anything that I showed you or I talked about, um, then just cut down packaging. Um, that's another thing you can do. Um, or just thicker cardboard. Um, you can even take the back sides of uh, notebooks, um, like the spiral bound and stuff like that, and you can use that as well. Or thicker junk mail. It's whatever you have, you can use it. I wanted to talk about, really quickly, about papers, okay? Because I know some people don't have a lot of different varieties and scrapbook paper. And not that I'm using any scrapbook paper, but um, if you have any, any whatsoever coloring books, you can use some sprays and make some colors on it. And you use this as your decorative paper for your booklets. If you don't have that, then maybe you have some book pages. And here I took some really yellow um, book pages and are really, um, they're really, really old. So they can probably crumple if I fold it down. So I just used one step all over and I just turned my page when I was stamping. So I actually had the same stamp on the same position all the time and I just turning the pages okay so that's what I did with all of these and I think I'm gonna use one of them um, like maybe we can do the butterflies and if you don't have um, regular book page um, then you can just use some um, junk mail and paint it with some acrylic or watercolors if you don't have that then you should get some newspaper and paint the newspaper with watercolors or acrylics. And that's what I did here. This is really thin one, um, which is really good. And another thing, if you have some gift wrap or Christmas gift wrap that you wanted to embellish, you can put some color on and use some stamps and do the same thing. You just need something as a background um, because these, all of the booklets, they're not embellished, but I was thinking I would just put one stamp on the front. Like this one is really busy, so I'm probably just gonna leave it as it is because it's really nice. But the ones that are not so busy, like this one, come on, I would just put uh, one stamp on the front or maybe just um, uh, one image on the front. And that's gonna be like it. It's gonna be finished. I just need to do the insides as well. But I usually do them in batches. I do all the outsides and then I do all the insides. Um, and then I decorate. So whichever way you wanted to do it, um, it's fine. Just have fun with it. I wanted to start with this newspaper because I like it. So when I glue my base down, I just glue everything and then cut it out because it's the simplest way for me. So I think I'm just gonna use glue stick with these stickers. Um, with these credit cards, I maybe should do the credit card first one. Um, credit cards, I use uh, Fabri-Tac or any other um, acetone-based glue. I have here other based glues just mixed together in this bottle. And just gonna plop them down Squeeze, yeah. Just gonna plop them down. Even if the glue isn't like everywhere, it's fine. Because it's going to be wrapped around with paper. So I'm going to leave a little bit of border, like something like this. I'm gonna take another one and do the same thing.
it's great to hide some plastic in these. It's great. Okay, and I'm leaving a little bit of gap here, like, um, like, I don't know, three millimeters or something like that. So I can create the spine and it's really nice uh, when you put them together. They're staying really nice together. So what I'm going to do now is just, um, I'm going to flip them around. Okay, I got my Smurf scarf. And just gonna burnish it down a little bit. So I'm going to cut uh, around the same size, like a centimeter, I guess. It would be a half of half of the inch, or maybe a little bit less. And now let me put this aside. I have this. Ooh, that's going to look really nice. Um, first thing that I do is corners. So I'm going to do that first. So I make my corners like this, all the way around. Like this. And then I put the glue on the actual... I can actually see where my corner is. I put the glue on the whole corner. So in this case, this is my corner and I'm just going to go around um, make all four corners and I was inspired like I don't know a year ago um, and I made so many um, I was inspired by the paper outpost um, and I made a bunch like a huge stack uh, from just playing cards and packaging and then I was like, um, a few days ago, I was like, ooh, I want to make another stack. I have these cards and stuff. So I made more. And it's really fun to do. And then what I do is I put some glue here on the whole flap. I guess you could use less of the paper, but, uh, you know... You're not wasting any. And it's a newspaper and it's all good. If you really like my painty papers, you can actually buy them in my Etsy store. I made a huge pile and you can even choose it by main color. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to put some papers inside. I found some paper here. Something is on the back side, but it doesn't even matter because I just need the white side. So in this case, you can actually use all of your junk mail that is just one sided. And like the thin one that you get in the mail. So that's really good, I think. Even misprints, just use them up. If one side is white, use them up. If you have both sides that are um, with text, then you can paint one of the sides and just glue on the other. And that's it. You have your painted papers. Going to edge this. And let me bring my watercolors here and a little bit of water. And I think I'm gonna go with black, like I usually do. And we'll just, you don't need to, but I kind of like it. So in this case, if I'm making a batch of these, I would take a measurement of one and I would cut as many booklets I have in this size and edge them all and then just glue them down so I would actually have a lot a lot of smaller papers like these and it's gonna go like here cute I think I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac um, it's not really a Fabri-Tac it's just a mixture of uh, acetate glues together 
Okay, let's see. I'm gonna glue this down here and here and a little bit in the middle and let's see what I can do here. going to use my finger to just smoosh it all around and let's put you down oh I really love how this looks like and let me see I want to do a little bit of this in the middle like so you can use a stamp or you can use a your words because I'm pretty sure you have a bunch of words and let's see if I do have some words uh, this is from a magazine this is the first page in the magazine when you open it um, and you have um, I think there's a word in English how you say that so you have um, the titles all together and I use this as my words and I'm gonna take this it's in Slovenian and it says inspiration and I really like that so another thing you can use a uh, first page of magazines just for this just for taking the titles out and a lot of times, even those uh, magazines that are not really interesting, they have really nice titles. And a lot of these that are titles of the actual um, articles are really cool. So, you know what I'm thinking? That I want to put another thing on the back. I found this, um, it's on my table, the whole box, if you wanted to see. Um, there is so many of these threads in, and I'm really trying, I'm really trying to use them up. Uh, whenever I unpick something or whenever I sew, I put them in. So these are the mixture of three colors, and I'm going to use that as my inspiration for the word inspiration. Just need to think what uh, where I want to put it. Maybe, maybe here. Just a blob of glue, and I'm trying to make it really thin. Blob of glue, and smooshing it down. And my word is gonna have a background. Another thing that you can actually use up, because um, I'm pretty sure if you're like me, you're saving stuff like that. You can make lines if you wanted to, but I'm usually just uh, leaving them plain. Um, I don't do anything inside usually. Um, or you can put a, an image or a flip, flip up or whatever you want, or even staple some more papers in, like a pad. So that's it. And it's still really thin even though we added some fabric so the front one i think i'm just going to have it like this i don't want to cover my lovely paint so i could use another word on the front as well if i wanted to but i think i'm gonna just leave it as it is maybe i can distress it a little bit to make it more pop and that's it too ugly credit cards used up isn't that fun so um, I know a lot of people are just using uh, papers and you know not so much other stuff in reality everything is waste so even plastic even soft plastic um, everything that you actually can throw away is a waste so that's it for today's video I really wanted to inspire you to use more of the plastic packaging and um, credit cards that we usually um, hoard. I hope you like this video and you're going to give it a try. 
and just look around your house what you have that you can use and repurpose thank you very much for watching bye